Good day, I'm Roger McMenamin here today to talk about something that seems very simple, injuries in workers' compensation in Pennsylvania. You might seem to think that an injury is an easy thing to describe, but the courts have been fighting over it for years. For nearly 100 years, an injury in workers' compensation was considered something that was caused by an accident. In fact, it had to be caused by an accident. 1972, an act was passed that changed everything. It was literally earth-shattering. An injury now in Pennsylvania from 1972 and on is described as a condition. Conditions that are caused by your work environment. So injury is still something that's caused by an accident. You fall off a ladder, that's an injury. You pick up a sack of potatoes and you're injured, that's an injury. But injury is also more subtly defined. It includes things like aggravations. You've had a prior back surgery. You work for five years and you injure your back. You start noticing there's pain shooting down your leg. That's an aggravation of a pre-existing condition. That's also work-related. You also have things like heart attacks, strokes. Those can be work-related conditions. Even if you had a pre-existing condition that predates your even your employment, you pick up something, you walk up a set of stairs, you have a heart attack, you have a stroke, it's work-related. Finally, and not to uh, discount psychological trauma, you have a terrible injury, you're injured by a machine, you walk into your factory, you see that machine, and you have a panic attack. You have an episode of PTSD. That is a psychological reaction to an actual physical injury. We can get into and talk all day about psychological injuries caused by psychiatric events. More complicated, but it also can be work-related. And finally, not considered workers' compensation, but considered occupational diseases, to workplace exposure. Uh, we found back in the days of asbestos that work-related work exposures are terrible, terrible things. They cause cancers, pulmonary disease, so things like asbestos, black lung disease, chemical exposure, all work-related. Even things like uh, asthma triggered by uh, allergic reactions to your environment, work-related. And finally, something that we all are very familiar with, COVID, a work-related condition should you be able to show that you contracted the COVID on the job. Thank you for taking the time here today. I hope you found this interesting. Until next time, Roger McMenamin. Thank you.